Number three, convert molecules into mass. What is the mass of 3.0 times 10 to the 24 molecules of CO2? So remember, anytime we have something like this, we just write out what's given, which is 3.02, sorry, 3.0 times 10 to the 24th molecules. Write the number and the unit. And then we want to convert it to something else, so we set up our conversion. Um, it could be multiplied like this. I know Ms. Brown does the bridges. We want to get rid of molecules. So whatever's on top goes on bottom. So this is going to be molecules. And we're always just going to change things into moles. So we go back to moles. What's the number that mostly goes with moles? Yeah, usually that's going to be a one. How many molecules are in a mole? Do you remember that number? It's a really big number. That's that one big number. 6.02, yeah, that one big number. Times 10 to the 23rd. And then we want to get rid of moles, because we don't want moles, we want grams. So moles are going to go on the bottom, and we want grams. But grams of what? Grams of CO2. So what's our number that goes with moles? That's just one. What does G tell us? G means go to the periodic table. So go to your periodic table. Carbon is 12. Oxygen is 16, but there's two of them. So 16 times 2 is 32. 32 plus 12 is 44. Follow my math there? Okay. Now divide by everything that's on bottom. Multiply by everything that's on top. So when you type this in your calculator, it's going to be 3.0, that E key, 24, divided by 6.02, E to the 23rd, and then multiply by 44, and get an answer. I think you get 219. For a purpose of significant digits, I rounded that to 220, but we won't be taking off for significant digits on your